Noam Chomsky. Oh, yeah, Boston University, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've listened to a little bit. Are you academic by any chance? Are you academic? Because you mentioned a few uh, Boston Am I an academic? Yeah, yeah, like, no, no, I'm a retired businessman. A businessman, yeah, yeah. okay, great. So, so how, how is... Um, how is uh, your, your your president now? How is he for like Biden? How is he for businesses for businessmen? I think he's been okay. Yeah. Is he better than uh, like Trump or for, for business? Um, uh, for business, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference between the two. No, but I would I I will vote for Joe Biden, not Trump. Mm -hmm. Trump is. Trump wants to be an autocrat. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a king. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a dictator. Mm -hmm. He wants to be like Putin. Mm -hmm. you know, well, he admires Putin. Is, he admires it, is there such thing as he a said he was a genius for invading Ukraine because it's great to acquire all that real estate so cheaply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said when he first went in there. But the, is, is that one of the plans, though? You know, when the war, they say the war machine and everything, uh, yeah. the complex war, com industrial, industrial complex. Yeah. Uh, like these are sometimes the, the reasons behind war, right? Yeah, like the grab of uh, land. It could be. It doesn't help. It uh -huh. doesn't help. I don't think. Uh -huh. But I think you know. We need to. I think United States. I'm in favor of supporting Ukraine, giving them money, giving them military aid. They were invaded by Putin, unprovoked, mm -hmm. attacking the country, trying to take over. So I think it's important for the United States to support that. Uh -huh. And I think Biden has done a good job with that. Uh -huh. And I don't mind some of my tax money going to support Ukraine. Uh -huh. I don't want Donald Trump back uh -huh. in there. Uh -huh. I don't want him back in there. So you're a retired businessman. So someone else runs the business for you now. No, no, I, I, no, my business uh, is closed. It's basically. closed down? Yeah, oh, okay. It's a small business, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what is it, if you don't mind me asking, but I take it you're like a Christian? I uh, know, um... Oh, I no, did. I, I'm an ex-Christian. You're an ex-Christian. Yeah, I used yeah. to be a Christian. What made you lose uh, faith? Uh, and I came to a point where I had... It started with doubts about certain things, questions about certain things, and it just kept steamrolling over the years. When I got to a point about 15 to 20 years ago when I said, you know, I just simply don't believe it's true. Mm -hmm. that, the, that the basic, 15 years ago? 15 to 20 years ago. It took that much because I was brought up like evangelical Christian. Yeah, okay, You've heard about that, yeah, right? Yeah. Evangelicals? Yeah. yeah, I was brought up like that. Did so you follow I, a lot? Like if I asked you, for example, do you know any evangelical scholars? Oh yeah, oh sure. Well, can you name me a few? Just Josh like... McDonald. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know yeah, him? yeah, yeah. He was here at the debate. Yeah, yeah um, I remember uh, what uh, uh, What's his name? Strobel. The case for Lee Christ. Strobel, the yeah, 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 he wrote, yeah, yeah. William Lane Craig. Yeah, William Lane Craig. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I know some. I've listened to him, mm. but. They, the, the basic doctrines of Christianity, I just don't think are true. Okay, I mean, they're intelligent apologists for the case, yeah. but I think the people who make the base case at the other, on the other side, you know, guys like Sam Harris, mm. okay, yeah. I don't know if you've heard of Horseman, him. Yeah. Sam Harris, yeah, yeah he's one Dan, of them. Daniel Dennett was Hitchens, one of them. Hitchens, you know, Christopher Hitchens. Yeah, uh, uh, Dawkins, yeah. and there's a whole host of them. I yeah. li like to listen to Michael Shermer. Marcus I like to listen to the people, Mike Shermer, Matt Dillahunty, yeah. who are former born again fundamentalist Christians mm -hmm. who changed their mind. A mm -hmm. um, big one who affected me was uh, Dan Barker. Yeah, 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 you know see, Dan I know Barker? Dan Barker. Yeah, yeah. He debunked are, are you a lot Muslim? Of, yeah, I'm Muslim. Okay. I'm Muslim so so it's, a, it's interesting to me that you're familiar with so many of these names. Yeah, because we do apologetics. Okay. Yeah? So, so watch anyway, a lot Dan of Dan Barker mm. was a fundamentalist Christian, yeah, yeah, as yeah. you might know from his yeah, book, Losing yeah, yeah, Faith and yeah, Faith. Yeah. He was a preacher for yeah. 17 years, yeah. and was in his 30s. Yeah. He had doubts that steamrolled, and yeah. eventually said, "You know, yeah. I don't believe it anymore." Yeah. But you know, it took a lot of courage because yeah. he lost everything. everything yeah. He lost everything he had ever known. He lost his wife. He lost his family. He's lost his way of way of his business. Was basically he was a preacher. Mm -hmm. He had all. He had to start all over again, mm -hmm. simply because he was honest about what he believed and didn't believe. I just, I don't believe it's true. I feel the same way. I don't think you, Jesus... Do you feel like you've been I, robbed uh, robbed of many years? You know, I don't feel that way. You don't I it. don't. You know, I, I don't carry around resentment yeah, 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 exactly. for my parents yeah, yeah. and stuff. My parents grew up the same way, so yeah. they can turn around and blame my grandparents, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So, no, I don't blame them.
I don't believe. But so I, I just don't think. Did Jesus raise from the dead? I don't think so. Uh -huh, no. Uh -huh. no. Do you I believe don't. in a God, a Creator? At this point? I believe there is a Creator, yeah. but it, but it's not necessarily a personal okay. being. The reason kind of thing. the reason I believe that there's a Creator, it seems to me that you go back, cause and effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. That there's one of two possibilities. Okay. There is either, if you go back, what caused this, what caused this, what caused this? At the end of that train, there's either an infinite regress, you know what that is? Infinite regress, well what caused it? Because people say, okay, I believe in God because um, God created everything, he caused things to be. He was the unmoved mover, the uncaused cause. Okay, and then the challenge to that is, oh, but what caused God? Okay, there had to be a cause for God if everything had a cause. Well, it seems to me to be only two possibilities. One, infinite regress. Infinite regress is a mathematical concept, but I don't think there's such a thing as infinite in reality. In the universe, there's nothing that's infinite. Okay, so you have to the truth. Right, so you have infinite regress versus there had to be an uncaused first cause. That's what it seems like to me. Maybe there are other possibilities, but I don't know what they could be. Uncaused first cause or infinite regress. Uncaused first cause makes the most sense to me. So an uncaused first cause is God. Okay? I don't believe God answers my prayers. I don't think he listens to me. I don't think he's a person. And I think he's a creator. It's, so a, it's the ground of all existence, the ground of being, the ground of all existence. Is what so, so would you say, um, as we move, you say all of this is just like a byproduct of creation, like it's, an accidental what? creation? An accident? Yeah, because we have to look at all of the beauty around you, the yeah, green it's, trees. It's, 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 uh, it's I usually argue, because I'm familiar with these arguments, but I try to keep it on a very simple level. Do you think such artistry and is, uh, comes from accident? You know, the placing of your eyebrows above your eyes and the nose, where it is, and, that, and the whole structure of you being able to keep it upright with the spinal cord and so on. Do you think all of these are products of accidents? Like, does that seem... It's sort of saying, was there an agency behind us? Yes. Was there intentional yeah, creation? Yeah, intention was intentional. Um, I don't know. I don't no, know. I, I really don't know. I don't think but so. I do, I do believe that. I do believe evolution makes a lot more sense yeah. to me from the point of... But hold on to evolution, because evolution shows you how A become B. Right, I just want just... to know how A got there first. Exactly, yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I want to establish A's relationship with God. Is it separate, or is it that we have a God that created the universe, not by accident or byproduct, but purposefully with intention? I don't know. Yeah. I, don't would know. It, I don't think so. Would it be fair to say that everything has purpose, like this table, this bottle, everything that we know of, your hair, your glasses, your hat, can we not use this as an extension of our logic to show that everything we know of has purpose? It would be very difficult to suggest that we have no purpose. Everything has purpose. No purpose? Yeah. Yeah, are you, is purpose and meaning the same Purpose thing? In, in, in meaning. Yeah. meaning in the same meaning. thing as purpose? It, 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 it comes to, it, it I, Here's it. what I think about meaning. Mm. I think there is meaning, mm. but there's not meaning to discover out there. I mean utility. I, as I create my own meaning. I create what's meaningful to me. What about utility? What? As in, when I say purpose, not just meaning, I mean utility. For example, not just abstract things. Yeah, of course like ideas. Utility. Of course yeah, so is there anything, anything that doesn't have a purpose? Like the mountains have purpose, the seas have purpose, the rivers have purpose. Everything it's, works in a very perfect... All connected. Yeah, it in ecology. All connected. All connected. It's all connected. So everything has everything a purpose. So what's your purpose? Anyway, this is the Quran. I think we've had a long conversation. I just want to bring it to a close. This is the Quran. A lot 
of people who leave Christianity assume Islam is the same as Christianity. It's not. You have the Bible, which is a collection of books that come from the Greek word Biblos, made out of the letters, earliest letters of Paul, which you know, which is written after Jesus. Paul never met Jesus. He wasn't an eyewitness. He, he himself went out there and he preached. He preached something slightly different to what Jesus preached. Yeah, a lot different. Yeah. So what well, the best we could do is multiple attestation to get something close to what Jesus had said. For example, the Jesus Seminary by John Dominic Corson, which you may know, they come to the conclusion very few words are actually uttered by Jesus. But there are some instances the Bible may show, show, may show us glimpses of truth. So the, uh, so the Bible uh, in it has a lot of doubt. We don't know who Paul was, like he's in, well, he, we know he didn't get the theology from Jesus, because he said, I learned this from no man. He fell into dispute with the companions at Antioch, uh, the dispute at Antioch, and then they had the Council of Jerusalem, where Paul, he met James, who was the brother of uh, Jesus. All of this is, uh, I, I know you remember all of this. But in Islam, uh, so Paul wrote half of the 27 books of the New Testament. That's 13. The others are like written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You we don't know who they are. And we don't know who they are. And they're not independent attestation. We know this because of the synoptic problem. They have word for word similarity. So we're left with a lot of doubt. The authorship already, of people. I've already yeah. done a lot of deconstruction of the Bible. And yeah. the Bible is not the word of God. Yeah. So this it's is. Not, it's written is that, by humans. Uh -huh. So this is where the Quran comes in. We have a lot of doubt here. But the Quran says, That is a book, meaning the Quran, wherein there is no doubt. And then the Prophet Muhammad, he was an unlettered person. Because we believe in God, but we believe God communicates with his uh, uh, creation. And there is purpose inside the creation. So God sends down, We say that God sends down to every community a messenger, telling people to worship only one God. No humans, no sticks, no spirits, no nothing. And the Prophet Muhammad was the seal of the prophethood, meaning when Jesus said, Oh ye, oh ye, um, hear ye, oh Israel, well, he quotes uh, the first commandment, Hear ye, oh Israel, your Lord, the God is one. The Quran doesn't address Israel, it addresses the whole of mankind. Oh mankind, Ilahukum Wahid, your God is just one God, it is not more than one. So the Quran and it was the last book it was given after the Bible, which is in doubt. We say this is. Okay, but we have a, I think we have sort of a fundamental point that we probably disagree on. Huh. And that is like, does the universe have purpose, okay? It has function, mm. but I don't think it has purpose mm. in that there is, a, like purpose implies agency. It implies a person or a being agency. that is something like us, that has personality, okay? If I had to bet, I would bet that the universe does not have that. Mm -hmm. It does not have that. It has function, but it does not have an overriding purpose where it's going somewhere. I you should know? have asked your name in the beginning. My name is Hamza. I'm David. David, nice name. I like that. Nice Old Testament name. <laughs> <laughs> strong name, strong name. So then, um, yeah. it, the problem with having just a dist or a separate type of God is now we have no attributes to it. Right. Yeah? But the thing is, then we are left with the question, where does knowledge come from? Can knowledge come from nothing? Can the genetic coding in your system come from nothing? Does a dog have knowledge? A dog has knowledge, yes. But where, where does, does knowledge come, come from? from? Accident? I'll ask no. you, where does a dog's no, we, knowledge come we from? We believe an agent would have to be knowledgeable to create knowledge. Whether it's a dog or ant, the communication, Why? because what this is, is what is the evidence that you need something supernatural or a a um, an animal or a human being to have it's both a, knowledge? Yeah, sure, it's the imputation of information. It's like a computer can't have software without a software designer, and this is what we see when we look at the DNA or cell biology. We look at the mitochondria, the RNA, the DNA, the cell synthesis, mitochondriosis, all of these processes in the cell alone and we look at the DNA, we look at the adenine, the guanine, tyrus, the uracil, we, we find it very difficult to think that all of this information, because that's what it is, information, it appears by accident. And even if you were to argue it comes from accident, you would need a long, long, long amount of time, which mathematically here's, would be improbable. Here's the difference between a scientific approach and a religious approach. Mm. In the scientific approach, when you get to something like that, you say, 
I don't know. Mm -hmm. You use an argument that we call the God of the gaps. When you don't know an answer to a question like that, it must be God. No. But there are plenty of things over history that have been filled mm -hmm. that people attributed to God, mm -hmm. the God of the gaps, that we now have scientific explanations for. Mm -hmm. We have a good scientific so explanation, explanation for how life developed from single cells to human beings. No, but we have a good... Hundreds of years ago, they had no explanation. It was God. No, no, they okay? had no scientific explanation. Don't get that confused. They had no scientific, not the way that we have it now. But they had observational. Wait, they had, oh, science, one second. It was David. Let's not get caught in the script because I'm not trying to debate yeah. and everything. But we had many other sciences, like uh, they had logic, they had philosophy, yes. they had mathematics, and these are undeniable. Right. Uh, uh, scientism is the dogmatic belief that science can explain everything or reduces everything no. to that which is observable. This is scientism. This is definition of scientism. It is. Science cannot explain everything. Well, I'll give you no, an example. No, science cannot explain everything. Yeah, exactly. Everything. Science admits yeah, yeah. it cannot yeah, explain exactly, everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It cannot. Science one of the like religion. Exactly. But it, has, it is a religion. It is. But this is the problem. No, it's not that you like can't, it's not. Hear me, hear me, David. But you can't, the you, can't expect, you can't expect an answer from science when science yeah. is telling you it can't give you an answer. Yeah. When you science understand? is what? It, it's telling you it cannot give you the answer. Do you understand? I can't go fishing with a dog leash and say, oh, there must be no fish here. Do you understand? This is the problem you're doing. You know that science deals with the naturalistic world, not the na unnaturalist or the supernaturalistic world. Anything beyond nature or beyond the universe. Right. But you're demanding that we have scientific proof for a God. But even when we... No, no, no. I'm not saying, no, no, I'm not no, saying no. we have scientific proof for a God. When I say I don't know, it means that I'm ignorant. Yeah. So if you're ignorant, man. This is my uh, I don't, no, I don't know. It's a perfectly good answer for many I need questions. It, I, I, say, I need it, though. I need it, though. What's that? If I'm stuck up somewhere, and I can understand, so I need to ask, you know, who knows about that? So, for example, he, you say, I don't know. It means that I'm finished. I, I don't know anything. I'm ignorant. So well, I know some things. It doesn't mean I don't know anything. Yeah, so this is one of the problems in science. Anyway, science is riddled with problems and it doesn't always have the answers. It can never have like metaphysical truths, ethical judgments, aesthetical judgments, ugly, blah, blah, blah. logic and maths, which is the basic of science. It cannot explain that. Science cannot even explain some things which are scientific. You know, science. Like as in we assume or make uh, assumptions like the speed of light, we make assumption that is constant, but we don't know it's constant. It's not constant. You run it through water; it's a different speed than yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, but generally, when we make uh, equations, we assume uh, the constant. Uh, the the is constant. Yeah. Yeah. Speed of light. In yeah. The back. yeah. So yeah, there are many things that we don't claim to know. Yeah, we don't claim to know. Like you don't know if you will, God forbid, like sink into this ground. We don't know. But you make a judgment call, right? Yeah, there's a probability. Even, I don't, I don't even there's a probability. I walk across the street, I could be killed by a bus. But, but, there's a, but you live, uh, you live as if that you can't take that next of step. Course. And this is the same thing for the believers. We live as if there is a creator. The creation yeah. lives as if there is a creator. I, I it live, gives us yeah. meaning. It saves us right. from materialism, nihilism, falling into these dark, I dark I holes. For, I lived for many years as if there was a creator, as if there was a personal God, as if I could talk to Jesus, as if he could answer prayer. Mm. It didn't work for me, ultimately. Right. Yeah, yeah. I found better answers. But this is this is my I have this book. Yeah, yeah. Not only do I have this book, I have a 500 page book written by a Muslim imam, is it? Uh, imam? Critical of Christianity and why the Christians are wrong and why Muslim is right. I haven't read the whole book, but I've scanned it. Yeah. So I'll take this, but I already have one. But yeah, okay, so remember that this. I had this nice conversation. Okay, I'll with do you. that. I'll do it. You want David, to take your time and well, it's not giving hard. Yeah. 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 Other free. Now the Majana Bilash. Yeah. 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 You sign this two David, no, two two David, David from Ma, two David <laughs> from from Sharat from London. <laughs> uh, from all of London, yeah? Uh, I write my name, yeah, from Hamza. Take a chance, David. Take a chance. You never know. Because you know what I found? That a lot of atheists that leave Christianity assume all other religions are the same as Christianity. Yeah. It may be that you find an answer. Who knows? Have a man, David, yeah? You as well. Take care of yourself, bro. Oh, don't be deceived.